train like in a train yeah. trip and people yeah. like what is he doing <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a camera over there <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> you start getting cringe you know <laughs> all right so um, I'm, I'm sitting here with uh, nicolas from georgia i just met him at the uh, train station in koblenz and now we're going to talk a bit and upload it to spotify just say hello hello <laughs> let's do it <laughs> can you say something uh, in russian for the fans uh нет. <laughs> Почему? Не знаю русский. Я не скажу. Я знаю русский. I can say something in Georgian. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Um, say, Endstufe is the best channel in the world. How? End Endstufe. Endstufe? Yeah. Endstufe. How is so good to say channel? I'm so pleased. Perfect. Um, yeah. So yeah, you already told me uh, you're a, a programmer um, from remote work, and uh, well, kind of, yeah, mostly, yeah. But uh, basically, the world is full of uh, opportunities. So right now, I'm programming. Maybe tomorrow, I will still programming because I got a project to finish. So what are you working on? Uh, there is one application uh, in Georgia for uh, jobs. What, it's, kind jobs? Of, um, it's kind of you can upload your CV, and uh, because there is a lack of people who are actually getting trouble in uh, making a professional CV, yeah. So uh, we are getting a service which allows them to even you can just you know click the button on the application. All right. The agent will call you, All right. and she or he will just ask you about your uh, uh, knowledge, about mm -hmm. your school, about your degree, mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. And in like five minutes, she's gonna send you a ready PDF file on your email. And this is kind of uh, functional that we're developing right now. So, um, is coding one of your biggest passions in life? Uh, not really. No, it's actually exciting, interesting, but um, it's 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 kind of simple, you know. Usually, when I think of coding, then I see someone sitting in the basement, like the anonymous mask That's here. Right. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and then you're in your tunnel, just blending everything out, yeah. and you only have your Coca-Cola or Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, monster. Is it like that? Yeah, monster with Cheetos. You know. Gosh, I wish we had a monster right now here. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. No, coding is um, it's a, it's an exciting thing because. Um, it, it, it allows you to think out of the box because yeah. also if you have extra skills of math, for example, yeah. you can just uh, write the code. So it's going to write the code, right? That's about the data, data science because um, when you're doing uh, analysis, mm. right, it depends what kind of code you're doing. So, uh, the, I just can't explain how huge is this whole thing. Would you recommend um, to, for someone who is not so analytical, but more like uh, acting from feelings and not so much from the head, like get into coding? Uh, of course, because if you think that you are not uh, doing something in life which is you know at least gonna bring you money because coding if you're gonna take a look at that from a different perspective it's pretty boring you know because you're gonna sit in front of a computer for a while mm. you have to write it down you gotta know the language mm. and things like that but if you gonna you know just stand in front of yourself and I'm just gonna do it you know and if, if, if it's gonna bring you money it's definitely mm. worth it so uh, the fact that you don't have any experience in that or you think that you don't have any you know, uh, talent to do that, it is never true because you don't need any talent for that. It's uh, if you know how to use a keyboard and if you know how to, you know, uh, how to explain 
like that. <laughs> yeah, but I get you. No, I mean, if you know the combination of the language, yeah. uh, if you know the right combination, right, it brings you different thing. Uh, a plus plus B yeah. equals to E, for example, yeah. right? The same thing is in coding. It depends what you need, right? For example, you're getting a task from uh, a client, right? Right. needs an application to work in an exact way you go when you click on this button you gotta get this when yeah. you gotta do this you gotta get this so you're just gonna calculate that and that's it actually if you're gonna ask me if you have enough practice if you know the language in a good way you're getting money for nothing right? wow yeah for sure because yeah it takes you a few hours it yeah of course you gotta work for a few hours but the amount of money that you get for this, sometimes it's uh, uh, overrated. Really. I, I've seen a quote years ago <coughs> that coding is the um, most valuable skill you can learn in 21st century. <sighs> that it's, it's the most useful skill that you're gonna get because uh, applications gonna continue going on. And sure. It's not only about applications, it's also about Web si websites. Yeah, it's everything. About It's about the functionals in the phone, uh, even just imagine COVID-19, it's a virus between people, but how much of a code uh, knowledge it required at its time just to create the screen passes and things like that. So yeah. anything that will happen in the world, uh, there, there would be someone who always needs a coder you know it's true the government yeah just uh private sector everyone needs it. So everything's connected to technology and just look around here we are sitting currently in a train and and like i have my phone in my hand and yeah. there's the display over there or there's another display it's everything coded so basically everything's connected to technologies That's necessary right. of code internet just changed everything because If we would not have internet, code will not make any sense. So I don't think that one day internet will be just turned off. Mm. It's impossible. So, you know, we just got to be flexible all the time. If you know how to be flexible, um, then you, your life will get flexible in a good way because yeah. your schedule will be flexible, your mindset will be flexible because you can't just concentrate on one thing, okay? You can't just say that, okay, for this amount of month, I'm gonna do one and the same thing yeah. because the world is changing every single day just like an internet, just like coding, just like languages, just like applicant, everything is changing. So if you're not gonna be flexible, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. So maybe a l one last thing um, before ending this. Uh, if someone would say to you, I want to earn a lot of money in coding, yeah. but I have no experience at all, where should I start? Uh, I'm gonna tell you a small story because uh, I had a friend I have this friend, he's not in Georgia anymore. He was 29 years old mm -hmm. when he decided that he, you know, he gotta learn this. And he was going to, um, I don't know how it's called in English, but uh, it's like old bazaar. He was buying old books, mm -hmm. Soviet books of coding. Mm -hmm. And he actually learned basis from these uh, books. And then he eventually went to YouTube and he actually self-developed guy mm -hmm. and with zero knowledge, with zero money, yeah. he, he just wanted that so bad, he did it. And now right. he's like up to 5,000 euros a month and he's a freelancer. He, he can live anywhere he wants. And That's a great way to come. Just because he wanted to. So, um, you know, sometimes you gotta stop thinking too much you just gotta stop you, get, you just gotta do it you know you gotta start coding and maybe you'll understand it's not yours but you already did it you know yeah. you already did something so um that, that that's where the process is starting right. you know because you can't just sit and think that oh you know what if i'm gonna try this it's not gonna work just do it and if it's not gonna work You're already gonna have result that it doesn't work, so it means you have to do something yeah, else, and uh, that's the whole thing. It's uh, overthinking is not a good thing. 
it will never assist you in a good way. So just forget about it. Just do it. Just do it. If if you know coding will not suit you, apart from coding, there is a lot of different things in this in this uh, field, mm. right? So you you should um, you should acknowledge what is happening around you, mm. and the main point is to figure out what is yours and what is not yours. If you're not gonna try that can't identify it is yours or not so just do it there is no excuses never all right i'm going to put your instagram in the show notes and in the youtube description and thank you for having a small session here in the train we're <laughs> shaking hands right now all right <laughs> all right see ya <laughs>